Welcome. In front of me is a Vivo uh, V2023 and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, typically this should show me right now that the device is locked, but I did just attempt a bypass, which I did kind of mess up throughout. So this is a second attempt at recording it. And I don't know if it's going to show that it's still locked. It should. You can see that it is locked right here based on this tiny little icon. And I guess it's going to show it right now, probably. Uh, but anyway, with this being said, I'm going to just guide you through how you can bypass the verification, uh, like you see right here. Uh, I have a pattern set, but obviously this works also with PIN or password and Google accounts. So to get started, we're going to back out to the Wi-Fi connection page and you want to connect to your Wi-Fi network. So should see in a second that I am connected, there we go. So connect on your device to your network and from there you want to back out to the beginning of the setup, basically right over here. You're going to select auxiliary settings for reading, talkback, and then you're going to simply enable talkback. I'm going to mute it before it even starts talking. It's a little bit distracting to me, so I prefer to have it as quiet as possible. Anyway, uh, once you see this page right over here, uh, you'll probably realize that the screen isn't working as you might be used to. So now whenever you tap on an option, it's uh, first getting selected, as you can see, and then you have to double tap on it to actually confirm it. And we also have some new shortcuts that weren't present before. So one of the shortcuts that we will be utilizing is the mirrored L1. So just draw on the screen something like this. Straight it again. There we go. And it will bring up this window right here. So you want to double tap on the first option, which is selected. Then single tap, use voice commands. And before we double tap on it, I'm going to quickly just mention what we will need to say to the device. This will be uh, told to the device. So once you double tap on this, uh, the microphone will activate your hear beep that basically the device is now listening to you. At which point you want to say open Google Assistant. You'll hear two more beeps, one that accepts your voice command and the other one that now Google Assistant is listening to you, at which point you want to follow up by saying open YouTube. So with that being said, I'm going to now double tap on it and you can hear and also see how I'm doing it. Additionally, if in your case you have a very strong accent, uh, you could possibly play me back and this possibly could work, though I haven't ever tested it. I know that my voice is basically being picked up by the device, no problem. Uh, so you could always try it if you're struggling with this uh, voice command. Anyway. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. So there we go. Pretty simple. From here, we're going to hold volume up and volume down. This will bring up a window for talkback. Press. You're going to select turn on, double tap on it, and then hold volume up and down once more, which will then suspend talkback and allow us to use our display normally. From here, we're going to now click on the account icon, navigate to settings, and then about and Google privacy policy. The typical accept and continue no thanks. And when you have your browser open, you want to navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. So like this, if you need a moment to write this link yourself, do pause the video. Gonna select consent right here and we're going to now scroll down to settings. Scroll all the way down to system, reset options, and you want to select reset all settings. Reset all settings and again reset all settings. So we set the settings and then reboot the device. Once the device boots back up, we will repeat most of the steps that we have taken from the beginning. Now I will be doing it a little bit quicker. Uh, so if you get lost throughout the process, you could just start the video over. Uh, if you're struggling with just getting back to where we were, which is the web browser. Uh, because on the web browser, we're going to then select another shortcut, different one, 
to select or set up a screen lock. Okay, so as you can see, the device is now back on and I'm gonna need to connect to Wi-Fi, I believe. So I'm gonna check if I'm not connected. We do need, obviously, network connection. Now, by resetting the settings, there's a high chance I this includes, yep, network. So I need to connect to it now. Okay, so anyway, once you connect to network, now again, back out. And like I said, I'm gonna go through it a little bit quicker. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. Cast disconnected. Double tap to activate. Press turn on. YouTube. Cast talk back off. Okay, so now that we are back in our browser, from here we're gonna scroll down lower to the, I believe, yeah, last option. Set screen lock mini, open, whatever. And from here, you can select a screen lock. I will be selecting a pin, just because before one of the verification methods was pattern, so I want to just switch it up so it's something completely different. So I'm gonna select pin. I'm gonna make something very simple, one, two, three, four. You can select the same thing, uh, same pin. And anyway, we're gonna select next. Again, we're gonna repeat it. I'm gonna confirm it now. Yes, I'm in. Got it. Okay, so now that we have selected our pin, I'm gonna hold the power button. And we're simply gonna reboot the device. And once the device boots back up, there will be one difference that you will probably see. When we go to the setup, uh, instead of having the device uh, tell us to verify pattern, it's now gonna tell us to verify pin because the pin that we have selected completely overrid the old pattern without us needing to ever verify it. Now, because we did set up a pin, it's now telling us to verify it. So again, one, two, three, four. And we can go through the setup right now. And as you can see, a verify pin instead of pattern. So one, two, three, four. If you selected the same pin, that would be great. Uh, in this case, you can just use the same thing that I am using and confirm it. And voila. So now we can finish up our setup.
So once you have access to your home screen, there is one last uh, thing that I recommend doing, which is a factory reset of the device. Now it might seem a little bit redundant to do it, assuming considering you already have access to your home screen, but the reason I recommend doing it is because by performing a factory reset of your device through settings, the device forces itself to remove any kind of protection that was put on it that would include your uh, Google accounts that were previously blocking us and also screen locks. Uh, Google account could still be present somewhere uh, deep in the system, the one that we needed to verify. Uh, and so could the pattern in some kind of way. So that's why I recommend doing this. So all you need to do is navigate to settings, system, and then reset options and select erase all data, factory reset. This would perform a reset of the device and would bring you back to the setup of it. But at that point, you can set up your phone in whatever way you want. It will be fully unlocked at that state and basically everything would be optional as it is with any kind of other brand new device so there we go so anyway with this being said if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching